Hey, what's up everyone? Tedrick85 here, and today I'm going to be talking about episode 5 of book 3 of The Legend of Korra, which is titled The Metal Clan. And the big thing on this episode is that uh, it takes place in the metal city of Zhao Fu, which uh, we get we get to be uh, introduced to a new character, which is Su Yin, who happens to be Lin's half sister. Now the interesting about thing about this is that right off the bat, um, you get to see that um, Lin Bei Fong has a resentment towards her. Um, as we'll learn later on in uh, the next episode, but uh, needless to say, she has a very poor attitude when it comes to uh, meeting up with her uh, half sister again. So, uh, as a matter of fact, when they arrived at Zhao Fu, uh, Lin Bei Fong uh, told Cora uh, not to tell anyone that uh, she was on board, but Su Yin ends up finding this anyway because her assistant is able to tell. Whether or not someone's uh, able to uh, uh, is lying or not, just from the the heart rate and breathing tone and stuff like that, and that's when Cora confessed that she uh, has Lin on the airship. And surprisingly, Sue, as she wants to be called, is very happy to hear about this news and would pretty much. Uh, would welcome Lin with open arms and that, and when Lin finally does meet Sue, that it's not the case, the feeling's not mutual, she has the, whatever resentment she has inside of her yet, and so, and the big thing about the, uh, this episode is that, uh, it's Sue's daughter, Opal, which happens to be Toph's granddaughter, is the airbender that, uh, Cora is looking for in Zhao Fu, because, Lin Bei Fong actually told Cora that there was an airbender in Zhao Fu, that's why they're there to begin with. And upon learning that Opal is the airbender, not only does it make Cora very happy, but it also makes Lin more upset knowing that it's her, her sister's daughter is the one that uh, is the airbender, and she's very apprehensive to having anything to do with her sister. So, um... But yeah, um, Cora got to practice with uh, Opal a little bit and comes to find out she's actually not that bad of an airbender. As a matter of fact, she's pretty good. As Cora said that she's a na natural, much to Opal's surprise. So, um, yeah, um, and, uh, and the cool thing is too that um, Opal and uh, Bolin seem to be having a bit of connection as well because they had a, a dinner together and they hit it off pretty well and Marco pretty much said the same thing to him. And, and Bolin didn't know what to think at first. He kind of denied it at first, but then uh, he thought about it. He was like, well, maybe I do have a chance at Opal. So it's going to be pretty interesting to see how that plays out for the rest of the book. But... um but going back to um, Chief Beifong, her resentment towards her sister reaches a, a new um, high when um, Opal tries to reach out to her and um, she, Lin pretty much shuns her. He pretty much tells her to go away, you know, I don't want any part of this. And Needless to say, Opal is pretty upset that uh, she's being treated like that and she ends up running off and that. And, Cora wasn't too happy about this because she was the one that actually suggested that she actually talk to Lynn to begin with. So, there's definitely got a bit of an um, interesting character situation going on with um, the Bay Fong family, which I'll get in the next video. It answers more questions. It talks about Toph and her relationship with her daughters and that. I'll wait until next time to talk about that, but, uh, yeah, I could, I could talk about, uh, on and on about, uh, the Bay Fongs and Sue and that, but another important thing that we have to talk about here is, uh, is that Hugh, who introduced himself as a guy named Yuru, and he claims that he's, uh, heard of the island where they're at, and he claim he came to seek refuge, and unbeknownst to them, to begin with, that uh, he is actually Zaheer, but as far as I know, he is 
a guy that just recently found airbending and he's training with him so that's definitely uh, not a very good development going on there and uh, oh I almost forgot to mention the, the return of Varric and uh, he recently um, formed a partnership with uh, Su Yin to lead uh, Zhao Fu's new technology division and his big thing right now is magnets and he's trying to make uh, something to do with magnets and that and <laughs> it's it had a pretty interesting dinner scene at the dinner scene too because he was sitting beside um he was sitting beside Asami which uh he used to be uh, have a big ownership in her um, in Future Industries which is the company that uh, Asami Asami's dad had but uh upon Varric's uh, attempt at uh kidnapping President Reiko Asami ended up having a sore um or should I say majority ownership of Future in Industries so it, it's nice to see Varric again. I know he's a pretty cool guy in the um, last book, and I hope he's the same way in this book. So, um, And uh, going back to Zahir, um, he, ends up, he does end up getting found out at the en near the end of the episode, where um, Kaya ends up questioning him, and she's like, How do you know so much about urbaning uh, and its history when I mean, you just recently discovered it? And here he ended up saying that he uh, ended up being uh, from a village in the north that she's never heard of. And this set off a, a, an alarm in uh, Kaya's head and she's like, Oh crap, you're Zaheer. And they end up getting into this huge fight. And here, um, she ends up putting up a pretty good fight, but Zaheer is, pretty, like I said before, he's a pretty formidable foe. And some uh, white lotus sentries end up coming to rescue but he was able to, so he was able to fend them off too so he he manages to escape unfortunately but now the, that that cat's out of the bag they are aware that he is getting really close to Korra which uh, Lin was pretty which I should have mentioned this earlier Lin was skeptical about going to Zalfu to begin with because she really didn't want Korra to go along uh, to go anywhere because uh, of Zaheer and his gang looking for her. But Korra said that you know that uh, no one knows where she is, and Suyin ends up being she ends up uh, saying that uh, Zhao Fu is the safest city in the world that they have nothing to worry about. So. Um, but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. I have to say about the, this episode and like I said before I'll talk more in the next episode and that which focuses more on uh, the Bay Fong sisters and their relationship with Toph and that so um, that's it for this video so thank you for watching and I will see you again next time